Good evening, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. Thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness every morning and your faithfulness at night. As what it says here in the book of Psalm, chapter 20, 92, verse 2. It says here, let's declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. Yes, Lord. You're so faithful to us and you are so loving, Lord. You carry us through the day with your love. And the joy of the Lord is our strength. Oh, we bless you, Lord. And tonight, as we will be reading your word, Lord, help us to understand. Give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, Father. That we will see Jesus as we read the word of God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Abba, as we partake the bread and the cup, we remember you. It says here, the institution of the Lord's Supper. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he took the cup after supper saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the lord's death till he comes hallelujah yes we praise the lord and we glorify your father Thank you, Lord, as I partake the bread and the cup, I remember you, Lord. I do this in remembrance of you, Father. Thank you, Lord, that for your broken body on the cross, Lord, it says here that but he was wounded for our transgressions, he was braced for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Father, yes. We believe and we receive your healing power for those who are sick, Father. And for all of us, Lord Jesus, O oh God, who are even has emotional pain and whatever it may be, Father God, Lord, you will be, we will be healed. Yes, Lord, because that's what your word says. Hallelujah. And by your stripes, we are healed. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your bread. Jesus the bread of life. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this cup of the new covenant, for the forgiveness of my sins, O oh Father, and for my protection as well, Lord. Hallelujah. You are covered with your precious blood, O oh Lord. Just like last time, you provide for those who are the houses in the houses who has been put some blood of the lamb the house was protected during Moses time and so father Jesus now the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world and by your precious blood oh Jesus we are also protected from every sickness and disease Amen. We, we receive it, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this cup of the new covenant. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Father God, we also want to pray for those who are in pain and suffering, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that... You will protect us also, Lord, for those of us, Lord. You will protect us. We are hiding under the shadow of the Almighty. And so, Lord, you will protect us as well. Oh, yes. Thank you, Father. God, we pray for those who are sick and in pain and suffering. Father God, Jesus, as what it says here, Jesus Christ has borne my sickness and carried my pain. For those who are sick and in pain, Father, we pray 
and he was stricken, smitten of God and afflicted for me. He was wounded for my transgressions, and he was bruised for my in guilt and iniquities. The chastisement need needed to obtain peace and well-being for me was upon him, and with the stripes that wounded him, I am healed and whole. Now I have perfect health in my body. Yes, Father, we receive it and we believe it and we claim it for those who are sick and needy, Lord. You are with them. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you, Father, and we glorify you, O oh God. You're so good. You're so wonderful, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your protection and healing upon us. Father God, Jesus, oh, we bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Safety in abiding in the presence of God. And we who deal in the secret place of the Most High, we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress. Our God in Him we will trust. Yes, Lord. We trust in you, Father. Surely, He shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover us with His feathers, and under His wings we shall take refuge. His truth shall be our shield and buckler. We will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side, and ten thousand at our right hand, but it will not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked. Because we have made the Lord who is our refuge, even the Most High our dwelling place, no evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near our dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over us and keep us in all our ways, and in their hands they shall bear us up, lest our foot will not dash off against the stone. We shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent we shall trample under our foot. The Lord is saying that because they have set their love upon me, therefore I will deliver them. I will set them on high because they have known my name. They shall call upon me and I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will deliver them and honor them. With long life I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Indeed, yes, Lord. You will satisfy with long life and so, Lord, sickness and disease will be gone in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, that you will save us, Lord, not just from hell to heaven, but, Lord, you will save us also from for our dreams, our visions and dreams that you have given to us will come to reality, Father God. Also, Lord, for our healing, Lord, you will save us from sickness and disease, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, you are our Savior. You save us even from difficulties, even from not not having money or lacking our need lord you will save us and you will fill us lord you will satisfy all our needs hallelujah according to the riches of christ jesus in christ jesus yes you will satisfy us lord with your healing with our needs with our with the strength lord with joy lord you will satisfy us because lord you are our all in all Jesus, our all in all. Hallelujah. Jesus, the name above all names, Father. Oh, Jesus, we magnify you, Lord. We glorify you, Father. Thank you for your love, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Before the world began, you were on his mind. And every tear you cry is precious in his eyes. Because of his great love, he gave his only son. Everything was done, so you would come. Come to the Father, though your gift is small. Broken hearts, broken lives, he will take them all. The power of the word. The power of His love, everything, the power of His blood, hallelujah, yes. Everything was done, so you would come. 
and nothing you can do could make him love you more and nothing that you've done could make him close the door because of his great love he gave his only son and everything was done so you would come hallelujah yes come to the father though your gift is small broken hearts broken lives he will take them all the power of the word the power of his blood everything was done so you would come hallelujah father yes we come to you oh god thank you lord for saving us lord thank you lord jesus that for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life thank you lord that god but you god demonstrates his own love towards us that in that while we will yet sinners christ died for us and the lord is knocking at the door of our hearts behold i stand at the door and knock if anyone hears my voice and opens my door the door i will come in to him hallelujah father god come if you god jesus loves you and accept let's accept him as our savior and lord and we will have eternal life as he has promised here that we will have eternal life and so come let's receive the lord for those of us who do not know the lord yet and is this your first time to listen to the gospel and uh, the prayer and we i invite you to receive jesus in your heart so that you can have everlasting life as he has promised and uh, Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, come. Let's receive him. Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I open my heart to receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you for the forgiveness of my sins and giving eternal life. Make me the kind of person you want me to be. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, Jesus, we love you. Come, mga mahal, let's continue reading God's love letter in the book of Psalm, chapter 89. This, this theme is uh, God's promise to preserve David's descendants. God's promise is fulfilled in Jesus, in Jesus Christ, who will reign for eternity. The love and kindness promised to David is ours in Christ. Author, it's Ethan a Levite leader, and possibly one of the head mus musician in the temple. Thank you, Lord. Verse 1. I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth I will make your faithfulness known through all generations. Verse 2. I will declare that your love stands firm forever. And you established your faithfulness in heaven itself. Verse 3. You said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Verse 4. I will establish your line forever and make your throne firm through all generations. Verse 5. The, heaven, the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness too, in the assembly of the holy ones. Verse 6. For who in the skies above can compare with the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the heavenly beings? Verse 7. In the council of the holy ones, God is greatly feared. He is more awesome than all surrounded surround him. O Lord God Almighty, who is like you? You are mighty, O Lord, and your faithfulness surrounds you. Amen. Verse 9. You roll over the surging sea. When its waves mount up, you sell them. Yes, you sell them. Amen. You crushed Rehab like one of the slain. With your strong arm, you scattered your enemies. The heavens are yours and yours also the earth. You founded the world and all that is in it. 
Amen. Verse twelve. You created the north and the south. Thabor and Hermon sing for joy at your name. Verse thirteen. Your arm is in endued with power. Your hand is strong. Your right hand is exalted. Verse fourteen. Righteous and justice are the foundation of your throne. Love and faithfulness go before you. Verse fifteen. Blessed are those who love, who have learned to acclaim you, who walk in the light of your presence, O Lord. Verse sixteen. They rejoice in your name all day long. They exult in your righteousness, for you are their glory and strength. Amen. Verse seventeen. Oh, it's, yeah, it's verse seventeen. Eighteen. Um, by your favor, you exalt our horn, Eton. Indeed, you, our shield belong to the Lord, our King, to the Holy One of Israel. Verse nineteen. You spoke, you spoke in vision, and your faithful people. You said, "I have bestowed strength on a warrior. I have exalted." A young man from among the people. Verse twenty. I have found David, my servant, with my sacred oil. I have anointed him. Verse twenty one. My hand will sustain him. Surely my arm will strengthen him. Verse twenty two. No enemy will subject him to tribute. No wicked man will oppress him. Verse twenty three, I will crush his foes before him and strike down his adversaries. Verse twenty four, my faithful love will be with him, and throughout my name his horn will be exalted. Verse twenty five, I will set hand, I will set his hand over the sea and his right hand over the rivers. Verse twenty six, he will call out to me. You are my father, my rock, the rock of my savior. <laughs> he will call out to me. David will call out to to me. Says to, to God, to Jesus. You are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. Verse twenty seven. I will also appoint him my firstborn, the most exalted of the kings of the earth. Verse twenty eight, I will maintain my love, my love to him forever, and my covenant with him will never fail. Verse twenty nine, I will establish my line forever, his throne as long as the heavens endure. Verse thirty, if his sons forsake my law and do not follow my statutes. Verse thirty one, if they violate my decrees and fail. To keep my commands, verse thirty-two, I will punish their sin with the rod, their iniquity with flogging, verse thirty-three. But I will not take my love for him, from him, nor will I ever betray my faithfulness, and I will not violate my covenant, or alter that, alter what my lips have uttered. Hmm. Wow. Amen, Father. Thank you. Hallelujah. I will not take my love from him, <laughs> and betray my faithfulness. Thank you, Father. Verse thirty-five. Once for all, I have sworn my by my holiness, and I will not lie to David. And his line will continue forever, and his throne endure before me like the sun. Thirty-seven. It will be established forever like the moon. The faithful witness in the sky, but you have rejected. You have spurned. You have been very angry with your anointed one. Verse thirty-nine. You have renounced the covenant with your servants and have defiled his crown in the dust. You have broken through all his walls and reduced his strongholds to ruins. Verse forty-one. You have passed by, have plundered him, 
He has become the scorn of his neighbors. You have exalted the right hand of his force. You have made his all his enemies rejoice. You have turned back the edge of his sword and have not supported him in battle. You have put an end in his splendor and cast him his throne to the ground. You have cut short the days of his youth. You have covered him with a mantle of shame. How long, O Lord, will you hide yourself forever? How long will your wrath burn like fire? Remember how fleeting is my life. For what futility you have created all men. What man can live and not see death, or, have, or save himself from the power of the grave? O Lord, where is your former great love, which your faithfulness you sworn to David? Remember, Lord, how long your servants has been mocked, how I bear in my heart and thought in all the nations, the thoughts that which, with which your enemies have mocked, O Lord, with which they have mocked every step of your anointed one. Praise be the, ne the Lord forever. Amen and Amen. Oh, thank you, Father. Indeed, Lord. You're so good, Father, that you're so faithful. And it says here, Lord, that you will not take, you will not take my love from him. It also speaks to us, Father, that you will not take your love to uh, for us, Lord, for us, your children. Thank you, Lord. And you will not bring your faithfulness to us, oh, Father. Hallelujah. And you will not violate your covenant, indeed, Lord. You promised, and Jesus came, and the new, the new covenant, and covenant with us, O oh God, for the forgiveness of our sins. Thank you. And uh, what you have, your word, Lord, what you have said in your lips, that you uttered your word, Father God, Lord. Thank you that indeed you love us so very much. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, Father. And uh, we are so so blessed, Lord. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your word. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you are so faithful to us, Lord. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify your Father. Good night, mga mahal. Thank you, Lord, for... Thank you for reading God's love letter with me. Thank you, Father God, for us, Lord, that you carry us through as we read, Lord, and we need you. Good night, fellow God's beloved, sweet dreams, and God bless. Always remember that Jesus loves you. Amen. Hallelujah. And God's promised word to us is here. Oh, thank you, Lord. Amen. Good night. God bless. Bye.